All right, guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you're at in the world. It's good to have you all back. This is going to be episode two of our journey here in British Columbia. Season 10. Today, we're going to try to unlock two trucks. It's going to be the Mac Defense and M917, and then also the Kenworth 963. So we'll try to knock out getting those two trucks unlocked. We'll probably use the Mac quite a bit just because, yeah, we'll use them for a little bit. Not too terribly much. I just like driving the Mac. I like doing missions with it. It's fun. Um, just like I did in season 11, but yeah, that, and we'll probably do a truck re request. I'm thinking, who knows? We might buy something today. Who knows? We're, we might mix it up. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what's on the menu today or the, the schedule. I keep saying menu. I don't know why, but yeah, that's, that's what's on the, uh, the schedule today. Hopefully we have a, a good stream here. I'll try to gauge where I'm at. Cause I know we're doing the, the subathon tomorrow. Not tomorrow, on Saturday. So, yeah, I need to try to make sure I have enough content for at least finishing season 10, which I hope so. Or maybe not even getting close or something like that. Lednor, welcome in. Good morning to you as well. I never noticed the garbage can right here. Oh, right here. I can't, can't, can't point on the, on the map, but yeah. Crazy how detailed this map is, man. Okay. So I think the first order of business, oh man. <laughs> I think I get the W990. Yeah, I think we get the W990. I think it's called quid pro quo. Fix the truck. So essentially, I just need to bring a truck up here to fix this guy. And then that's it. We got him. Not too bad. Um, okay, let's see what we got in the garage here. Oh, I got this. I could kind of bring that up there, maybe. I almost want to bring a trailer could bring the ANK honestly with a with a trailer and then just repair him and then potentially use the ANK to go pull out the um the Mac defense as well this could be something could test out how the ANK feels with these these new mud tires actually too so that could be something actually uh let's see hold on Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Kind of want to put the... Kind of like the uh, the custom paints, actually, for these. You can still see. Even with... Here's what's crazy. So we talk about that rear mass scale, right? So watch when I put these... Uh, I'll get a good... Get a good vantage point here, actually. Okay, this bar right here is basically right at these, uh, what are these fire extinguishers? Look like, forget what the uh, aviation term was that, but anyways. Let's go to, oh wow. Okay, so there's the AMHS sitting right on this block right here. So I'll leave my mouse here. Now watch the MMDs. Yeah. Wow, the MMDs didn't even bring it up much. Except for the twos. Yeah, the threes. Okay, never mind. Wow, this is weird. That's that's very odd. Oh, but it okay, never mind. <laughs> Raises up quite a bit. Okay, never mind, we're good. <clears throat> All right, let's see how the, the balance handles here. 1.3 width on the back. Let's 
it is a good truck. It's a very, very good looking truck. I was actually um, quite heartbroken to see that it was plagued. Yo, Truck Ram, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Grubby18, thank you for the follow. And Zandan, thank you for that follow as well. And Digital Tiger. Good morning to you, Scorpion. Good morning, ITMA. Welcome in, guys. Yeah, it just... It was very sad to see this thing had so much consumption in such a small tank. Ooh. What's my favorite truck? Oh, man. I don't think my favorite truck is necessarily... Well... Okay. <laughs> it's odd, man, because... After playing for 4,000 hours, basically, and uh, playing this game pretty much exclusively of any game I've played, doing reviews on every truck in the game, I, I would, how do I say this? That used to be a much easier question to answer back before all of this. But I can probably say just because of like history, I'm gonna say the Azov 64131 because it's just, uh, it's not necessarily the, the most capable of the 8x8s, but it is super efficient, which I love. Um, it actually is pretty, pretty darn capable and it's, its balance is phenomenal and it's heavy. But then again, I'm starting to really like other trucks. Like I like the CT681 a lot. I like the Paystar 5070 a lot, and I know those trucks really aren't the best in the game, right? Oh my. Okay, I have to drop this. I need to dig myself out here. I've done this before. <laughs> okay, hold on. I know what I need to do. I need to go like this. Like this. Back out. What about the Mac defense? Oh yeah, that's a good one too. The Mac defense is actually another good one. The Mac defense is also another good one. Let's see if I can actually grab this tree. No, I can't. I probably should have put the extended winch on here, which I'm stupid I didn't actually. We'll get to our wheels, so I'm hoping. Okay, we're good. All right, cool. Wow, that's that's something right there. Okay, I remember that part now. I remember that part. Okay, give me my winch back. Okay, what is going on here? All right, cool. Nope. Gotta grab it from the hip. Gotta grab it from the hip. Good morning, District. Welcome in. Good morning. That little dip there, man. I forgot all about that. That's the type of stuff I like, though. Like, that just made this very complicated, right? Because we could have lost that truck right here. And I would have been have to essentially uh, recover. Not recover that, but come dig him out or something. How am I feeling, Bullhead? Welcome in, Bullhead, as well. Welcome in, Ryan, Lednor. Good to see you guys. Um, trying to stay awake. I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, right now, the only thing that's really kind of bugging me is, is the fatigue. A little bit of shortness of breath still. Um, and yeah, yeah, just like I have, it's weird. I have just uh, a lot of mucus, you know what I'm saying? Sinus pressure. And that's, that's pretty much it. The cough is kind of gone. That's been like kind of sporadic, but. But yeah, we're getting better. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. We're taking the CT680 out for a spin. Shit. 
So truck ram, why do you why do you ask? What's my favorite truck? Is are you looking for? Are you looking for a truck to play? Yeah, I'm, I'm just wow, dude. Seven point one fuel consumption. Are you kidding me? Oh, you just want to know? Yeah, I mean, I do I do like trucks that are just very very capable, but I I, I don't know. I also like some of the underdogs a lot. It's just weird. Oh, dude, this thing just pulls so much fuel. It's unreal. Can I kick high gear? No. We don't have the power. Not yet. Too much of a load right now. Twitch has been super buggy. Oh, no. <clears throat> really? Has it? You got disconnected last night? Really? Hey man, welcome to the party. <laughs> welcome to the party, bro. That happens to me, I think. Well, actually, not all the time. But it happens to me quite often. Did your did your stream die and it just kicked you? Has that happened? Oh, the roots. The roots got me. You see that? The roots are all over my all over my stuff. Favorite truck is the Dodge. I don't think they have Dodge in this in this game. Yeah, they definitely don't have Dodge in this game. You must be talking about a mod. Ah, oh, this part, this part. Okay, why couldn't I grab that? Four times in one week. Four times last week in one stream. Oh, that's not good. This always happens right here. See, like this. This is better. This is better difficulty than I would like than sitting in like a super condition. Oh wow, that's a So your videos are like 40 minutes apart? Oh. Dude, what I would have done, actually, when it happens to me, what I do is I plug it into, um, like Adobe Premiere. And then what I'll do is I'll just put them together. I just put them together, render the video, good to go. But that ha when that happens to me, it's kind of what I have to do, or I have to make separate videos, right? And it's just like... It's annoying because, you know, you download the video from, you know, from Twitch or whatever. You, you know, you export it over to, to YouTube. And then, yeah, it just, uh... I really wish, what I really wish I could do is I wish my computer was strong enough to, to record footage record footage as I stream so like my recorded footage would essentially be the same thing as the stream but just better quality um because whenever you record your quality is just so much better period instead of broadcasting it on onto a stream and then re-downloading it and then you know when you send it back to YouTube it gets compressed so you're losing a little bit of that uh that quality right but when you, if you record at a very high bit rate as well, yeah, you retain all that quality. Like you guys wouldn't, wouldn't see all that crap and it would be just be like when I replay it to like YouTube, it would be just crisp. Ooh. Oh, really? You, you did that, but you noticed when you screwed up in the play? Oh, okay. Man, these roots are like everywhere. You've been replaying the same maps 
five times and counting. Wait, which one? Wait, I thought I, I thought I gave you a uh, a file. I gave you a hundred percent file the other day, didn't I? Sorry, I'm just like chugging my coffee with one hand here, not really paying attention to my truck's balance. Okay, so I can confirm these tires are very much helping this truck's balance, but uh, yeah. Very much so helping. But my goodness, I already burnt through a full tank of gas already. Oh, okay. So you're in Mudrunner. Oh, dude, so you're playing all you're playing maps again in Mudrunner? Okay. Wow. Turn, 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 turn. Never mind. I mean, yeah, dude, it looks like an awesome game. The trucks look, the trucks look just from just from like looking at the gameplay. <clears throat> the trucks look at like they're just much heavier. Something Naked Dave told me is that uh, Mud Runner essentially doesn't have any type of wetness added to their mud, the surface. If I, it, I think that's what I understand. If he's in here, he probably can correct me. But and I think the dry mud in Snow Runner, which would probably be like this stuff right here, a little bit. That, that like we're tracking on except, except for that that's a little bit shiny so that's probably a little bit wet in there but I'm pretty sure like there's very few and far parts of, of dry mud in snow runner right but the parts that are they have a default value of actually having some wetness score wow good thing I brought this with me huh Nope, he's right. Yeah, I thought I'd definitely, definitely take his word for it. But yeah, I mean, the trucks definitely feel much heavier. <laughs> or not once they feel, they look. Just from observing, I haven't really. Trucks don't tip that easy. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't think they do. Oh, can I get through here? Oh, what a beaut! And now look, I have this this little trailer here that I'm going to. Uh, I'll take with me at some point, take it somewhere. Repair. There we go. Got ourselves a, uh, a Kenworth. Got ourselves a Kenworth here. Okay, so I need to jump in the Kenny. I need to get the Kenny back to the garage. So what I'll do is I will actually take this scout trailer with me. I almost want to just recover this. I, I really do, but I don't feel like spending 8K just to recover it. What? Are you kidding me, dude? What beverage do you have in that stein? Dude, speaking of a stein, man. There's this there's this German restaurant that's like in, in Cleveland or close to Cleveland I want to go to. I remember when I traveled to I was in Germany for like a month at one point in uh when I was in the military. Oh this is a high is this is a high range? What? No way. They didn't put a stock high range on this. You drove the Kenny last night? Really? Wait, you drove it on, on SnowRunner? Or you mean like on... Or do you mean like in... Mud, do they even have the Kenny in MudRunner? Oh man, look at this. Oh, I don't even have all-wheel drive on. No wonder why. Yeah, a lot of people like the sound of this truck. Um, 
When it first came out, it actually sounded like the P-12, I believe. And that was its original sound. And then they, they changed it up. Yeah, they changed it up. Okay, I guess I gotta go back the way we came here. Going down, though, isn't gonna be much of an issue. Oh, an MR? Yes. Oh, dang. They have almost all the SR trucks. Nice, dude. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. But yeah, this truck had originally had a a truck sound that was similar to the P12, essentially, and then uh, they changed it to this, which I definitely like the change. A lot of people don't like it. I think it's a mixed bag, to be honest. I've heard I've heard people hate it, people like it. I don't know. To be honest, man, <laughs> people complain. People always want something to complain about. To be quite honest. I have people that complain about the Mastodon's engine, which that one kind of gets really loud. I, I can understand that for sure. But it's different. It's unique. It's a little bit different than any, everything else. So that's that's good, you know. Can't be the same. The Kenworth is... This one right here? You think this one is tippy with the log add-on? Ah oh, man, I don't actually I don't think it is. I don't really think it is. Yeah, I don't know. That might just be how maybe I don't know, I didn't really find it tippy with, with logs at all. I would say if, if you're finding it to be tippy, I would probably use the jat tires then. And just have yourself a little bit wider wider of a base. But yeah, I didn't find it tippy at all when I was doing logs. I think it's uh maybe you have a lead foot. I mean, maybe. Here's the thing. It has going for it. It has a longer wheelbase, so... And its frame kind... I don't want to say it flexes a lot. It's kind of stiff, but it gives a little bit. So, like, the long wheelbase, you're able to touch... So, how do I say this? It's easier to tip over a short... A short wheelbase vehicle. Because everything is so compact that, let's say, my back end hits a piece of terrain, right? Well, my back end on a short wheelbase vehicle is very close to my front wheels, right? So essentially, it's impacting my whole center of gravity at once. But let's say my front half of the truck is hitting something that's kind of like off balancing, but my backside is kind of counterbalancing it and it's farther back, right? It hasn't hit that terrain yet, but it's still stable. It's kind of holding the truck still on its wheels, right? So sometimes I find that trucks with longer wheelbases, they feel a little bit more stable just because the whole vehicle is not getting rocked at once. It's also dependent on your speed. So if you got a lead foot, I mean, yeah, it's harder to, harder to control. But I think that's with any truck, right? Oh, uh, no. Got to back up. I see that stump. And I'll raise you another stump. Nope. Oh, this is not good. I can't even get around this turn, dude. I can't even get around this turn. You gotta be kidding me. Beautiful and powerful. Yeah, this truck is awesome. <clears throat> oh, what can I do here? Oh man, this is tough because I can't even, it won't even let me. 
I know what I'm gonna do. I already know. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Now, I grab it, and then I basically go forward, pull, and it kicks my butt. Alright, cool. We're good to go. Don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. The bandit's so cute with a big fuel tank. Honestly, it's more stable than one. You think because of its flex frame? <sighs> yeah... Flexing is good, and then flexing can be bad too. I think I think it's good overall good though for the bandit. I think I mean the bandit without a crane and wide tires, it does really well. No, I'm underneath this thing. Okay, never mind. I might just clear it. Okay, cool. Never mind. We're good. thing is so big man just so hard to turn it's like on this thing is unreal huge the fun the funny thing is it, it's kind of dwarfed in comparison with uh with the fem the fem just dwarfs it man the fem kind of dwarfs everything maybe except for the burlac <laughs> the burlac's just huge Cab design is awesome, yeah. Right, let's get off the tracks here. But yeah, man, the crazy thing about the Bandit is it's, it's, it's one of the only 8x8s that can crawl over massive boulders like that. You found it to be tippy? Yeah, I think I think most I think it's very it's a mixed bag on what people what people feel about the bandit. Okay, I'm gonna leave this this trailer here. Okay, let's go customize. Wander 265k. Yeah, it did have the high range, but I'm not gonna use the high range. Sorry. Can't do it. Kenworth tires, I think they're good, 71 inches, but I'm gonna use these. Actually, to be honest, here's here's probably the point I think I might switch out. Okay, so here, here's why. Okay, so, if I can explain this, you know, I'm just gonna explain this. Go over to my test map real quick before we take a bathroom break. All right, so, something, Trucks with low power to weight. I've been kind of understanding something about trucks with low power to weight and putting really grippy tires on them. Something that happens is you get axle freeze more, more, it becomes more prevalent. Okay. Like this, like having the MHS two or the MSH two tire, it's a very grippy tire, right? It's a little bit more narrow than the jet tires, as we already know. And it's putting more pressure into the surface. Therefore, if you don't have the actual muscle to turn these, you just get axle freeze straight up. However, for trucks like the P16, P12, it could be advantageous to actually use a tire that doesn't grip as, as good into the surface. Because what happens is that it still allows you to turn your wheels. And if you can turn your wheels and you get some type of movements, that's good. So this is something I wanted to test with the Kenny too as well, because I know he has issues with, with power, right? Just take a look, quick look here. This is really a heavy add on. Okay. I just switch off all wheel drive there just to keep the, the wheels going in the back. Go 
Okay. Okay, so it went pretty far. Okay. Farther than I thought. Or farther than I thought it would go with the M MHS. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's something you could do personally. Like, how do I say this? I'm gonna be real. If I'm using the Kenny, I already know that it doesn't do well on severe inclines, right? To be quite honest, a lot of these trucks in Snow SnowRunner in real life would not go up these hills with these loads. Let's just be straight up honest here. Most of the time you guys see some like any type of extreme trucking, like especially with like the Tatras um, off-roading on YouTube and stuff like that. There's no loads. They don't have any, they're not pulling, you know, you know, five, 10, 15 ton loads up up those grades at all. And they and they could not do that, right? So I think with the knowledge that I know about the Kenny, it doesn't have the best power to weight. It does have a pretty darn strong engine. But the thing is, I'm not going to put it in the situation where I know it's just going to freeze up, right? So, and if it does, dude, be in a spot to winch. Let's go advanced heavy. Bandit is probably your favorite truck. What's up, drummer? Welcome in, by the way. Without the crane, of course, yeah. You're loving the Antarctic on a moor? Oh man, yeah, the Antarctic on a moor is definitely a nice one. Okay, so I'm gonna leave him as is. I'm gonna repair him though. I'm gonna leave him here for now. No, I haven't taken the spare wheel yet. But anyways, I guys, I'm going to go to the restroom real quick and then we'll be back and then I'm going to take, we're going to go over to the new map. What is it called? Hold on. Don't tell me. It's called North Peak National Park and go get the, the, the Mac defense. Yeah. So I'll be back in just a minute, guys.
All right, guys, we're back. Oh, wait a second here. What's this? Marathon. Master Source. One second. Make sure alert box. Okay, we're good. No, Scorpio, I did not take the add-on or the uh, the spare wheel add-on now. Okay, so let's go. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Appreciate that. Um, The fastest way to the gateway is honestly probably back to town. Yo, Maverick, thank you for that follow. I'm going to take a sip of this coffee here. You're even crazy enough to put the ramped towing platform in Antarctic to rescue missions? Ooh. What's up, Victor? Welcome in. You are... Yes, sir, you are very brave. Okay, so this truck... Do I just bring it back down across? Yeah, that's probably the fastest way. Yeah, that's the fastest way to go. And then across the across Duncan Bay, which I'll take the I'll take the the bridge, whatever. Yes, sir, man. Cups of coffee. Definitely it's my first cup today, so I'm probably gonna be pretty hazy here for a while. Yeah, man, I do too. The rescue platforms are legit. I like them. I think it feels how do I say this? It's gonna sound kinda weird. Okay, how do I say this, man? Um, I understand like SnowRunner is kind of like a sim. Or I don't even know if most people consider it a sim. I, I don't even know, to be quite honest. It, it kind of depends upon who you are. But I'm kind of a guy where... <sighs> Let's say this. On the playthrough I had with Max Power, we essentially used trucks like you were saying, ITMO, with, with basically trucks would have a dedicated purpose. And if we had a rescue mission, we were essentially using one vehicle that had that set up and, and it did not change. Like it, the vehicle setup did not change. It was mounted. It was there. That's what we were doing with it. So it kind of forced us to use like a plethora of different trucks for different jobs. Right. And it kind of felt pretty good because, you know, it's kind of like immersive, right? You know, you're rescuing a truck. You're using something that's dedicated to rescue a vehicle. Yeah, they can be janky at some times, but it's kind of nice, right? You know, it's actually a pretty cool rescue vehicle, actually. It's going to be the Kenworth W990. It can have the, I think, the small, the small rescue, tr the small rescue ramp, I think. I forget what it's actually called. And a crane. So, yeah, I, th I think that's going to be really cool. For you, it's definitely a sim. But yeah, that's that's kind of like how we played that playthrough. It was called the All-American Co-op. So even trucks that didn't have all-wheel drive, they didn't have all-wheel drive in real life. Yeah, they didn't get them. Played everything convoy style. Yeah, it was just a, it was a fun game. It was a fun little scenario playthrough. I mean, like, rescues, rescues aren't that hard, let's be real. Rescues, you can just essentially take a truck down there, pull them to an area, pending you have a strong enough, a strong enough truck to do so, and then, yeah, repair, refuel, you're good to go. But, you know, rarely do we ever actually, like, put, in real life, if you're rescuing a truck, yeah, you're probably pulling it to some point, but, like, at, at, at some point in time, you're getting it on some type of platform and then pulling it out of there, right? You're essentially like pulling it out of like the really bad places, like just via straight up muscle. And then you're putting it on some type of platform to get it, get it somewhere, right? I think the one time we, we actually were rescuing the Dairy 3194. And yeah, we put it on like the ramped, the ramped uh, semi-platform. And that was just a fun experience. 
and of course it wouldn't pack. So here's another another thing about the the Dairy 3194. Is the Dairy 30, 3194 it will not pack to a trailer if its drop axle is not deployed. So how do I say this? When it, whenever the truck is not yours in that mission, right? You can't just get in the truck and do that. It just wouldn't pack. So that was like issues the truck would want to like slide around on you. You should make it so it's strapped down more in the towing platform to remove the suspension moving. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. It would kind of give you a little bit more control, right? Yeah, we almost went there. Yikes, dude. Yikes, dude. This is craziness. I don't have any winching to my right hand side. I have nothing. Yeah, that's why we couldn't pack the Longhorn. Yep. But, I mean, anytime you're transporting it, just get in it deploy its legs. That's kind of what I've understood. I think that was on... Someone actually brought that up. I forget what, what what server that was on or what channel that was in. The Discord, but it's crazy, man. Like, you know, we're, we're like almost four years into this game and I'm still learning things. You know what I mean? It's like... It, the, the learning really never stops. Ah! Okay. Darn. I was going to grab that. Good morning, Hammy. You came in at, at the perfect time. Ugh. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess we get our... Oh, let's see here. I guess we get our new Kenworth out, right? Go pull him off this little area. At least he's close to the garage. What? <laughs> I barely touched it. Yeah, that was real easy. <laughs> Heaviest vehicle in the game. That thing went right back to its wheels real quick. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, I think the season 12 changes are going to be really cool. I'm, I'm excited for them. I'm excited for them, especially like the, the Kenworth W990. Um, the Bandit, I'm excited to see the Bandit as well. Oh yeah, also <clears throat> the OM the OMD tires are getting a, a slight buff there too, so but honestly I couldn't see any any type of difference when testing them on season twelve opposed to the, the UOD twos. But don't you dare tip over. Don't you dare. Don't you do it.
All right, cool. Let's go. 750 for the... Yep. I'll do it. Yeah, it's going to be fun playing the Warthog with doubles for sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay, over to... The Mac defense. First, I'm going to do a little something here. Yeah, do some resupplying, you know what I'm saying? There we go. So I also know there's a fuel carrier trailer over here too as well that we're gonna have to make use of at some point. So yeah, I don't know how much fuel, how many fuel trucks I'm gonna need to get out on this on this map. There's there's quite a bit on this first on this first one. Yo! Going too fast. Can't turn. You like the Warthog and small trucks in general? Yeah. Man, though, I, I kind of wish the Warthog had a little bit more weight in its front end, man. Because it has a very strong engine, right? The only problem is it, it just can't, it can't haul trailers. I mean, it has a low saddle, it just can't do it. it just can't do it. It's front end just, it cannot stay down. It will not stay down to just, for its life. It's literally like the, the ver it's basically like a Dawn 71. It just, it's front end has like almost no weight in it for some reason. Or that's how it feels. Nice, here's another trailer. That's right. Yeah, we got a bunch, man. Okay, so I, I don't remember. Do we do we have to unlock this garage over here? Is that a garage we have to actually unlock? Or is it like just a free one? It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's only been, you know, what? One season ago? We just finished season 11. <laughs> I don't even remember. can't remember I can't either man honestly I don't think it is unlo an unlockable I could check wow North Peak National Park I can't believe I'm here right now okay the Mac defense is like over to my left ish to think where it's at it's like i might look at map runner real quick i know it's down yeah i'm looking map runner just so i'm not just willy-nilly searching around for it it's crazy man uh so it's a little farther down Okay, I see where it's at. I see where it's at.
There it is right here. This is my this is my cue. This little landmass here. Yep, and there he is out there. I don't, honestly, I don't even know if I needed this trailer for this, but I mean, it's whatever. I'm gonna use it, gonna do it. It's fine. Really? It's that bad. Am I on a stump or something? Maybe I am. Uh, I guess we'll just back out. <laughs> Go around. I'm guessing. I'll just cut, cut through here. Yo, what's up with the... Come on, MMDs. going to oh let's see I wonder how deep this is let's, let's do a test here because if this is not deep I'm gonna go right through this whole thing but maybe I probably shouldn't because uh, if you get stuck here you're kind of just yeah, it's not. It's not shallow. Okay. That makes sense. So basically, I go back the way we came, kind of. Which is fine. Let's get this mission, and then we'll pull him out. Fix up and fuel. Okay, cool. Nice. A lot of maneuvering I'm going to have to do with this trailer. It's fine, though. Oh, look at the roots, dude. Oops. Okay, to the service center. That's basically where the garage is, essentially, or somewhere close to that. So, yep. There we go.
I don't think this is going to be easy at all. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. Actually, it's like this. Any winch points? Nothing. I got there. I need to like kick myself over. Ah, oh, I want to go this way. I want to go over here. I got to go this way first, I think. Yeah. I'm like right there. I'm like so right there. I might just have to do this. I might have to go this way around this rock, actually, which kind of sucks. Probably not the best way to go. <laughs> Definitely not the best way to go. But I want to go back. Actually, I want to go around this tree. That's where I, I really want to go. This is this is where I, where I want to go. I want to go this way. I don't want to go through that gap. That gap is death. So all I have to do is just get myself... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I went too far. <laughs> I went too far. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. There we go. Alright, cool. Let's go. Bring him in. Yeah, here's the plan. I get myself around this tree, around this stump, or this rock and in cropping, or whatever it is. Then I winch him around all this stuff. So he's gonna miss this. The back axles of the P12 look dumb with the new jets. I think they're fixing those. Yeah, I think they're fixing those. I wouldn't worry about it too much right now. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about those too much. They're gonna change. I think they're gonna they're gonna fix those. If they haven't already fixed them on the PTS, I haven't really checked on the PTS honestly, but I think I think it's gonna be fixed. So there's not. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm 
Ho! Don't tip over. Kidding. I need you to slide past that rock. here to there am I being pulled back now what's going on with this Mac what what's going on here I don't get it this is like it's right there Is he stuck on something? What is he stuck on? It's either a root or something. Okay, I'm gonna go forward a little bit actually. Yep, I'm gonna go forward. What's up, Malzi? Welcome in. Oh man, this is tough. Oh, this is really tough. To be honest, I don't even know if I can do this with the, with this. I might just drop this. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop this. I don't know. I don't think I'm doing this with the with this tanker or with this uh, the trailer. What's up, Jelly Bean? Welcome in. Yeah, what's up? Go ahead. I'm gonna back I'm gonna back into here, actually. We're gonna back in. I'm gonna try to just muscle him out of here. I'm pretty sure the ANK can muscle him through this gap. Or I don't know. Who knows? Let's see. This is probably a good job for like the cat. 745C to be quite honest. Ain't gonna lie. How do I get that yellow circle on my screen? I think someone asks me this every time. Uh, the yellow circle on my screen, this is essentially... Okay, so let me explain this. In, the, in, in a normal mode, whenever you... It's saying like, so the Mac defense is the priority target, right? So literally the target area is the MAC defense. The MAC defense needs to go to essentially this area here, right? Service center. So this is the target that you want to acquire. On normal mode, it would literally pinpoint this on your map. In hard mode, it just gives you a circle because it's basically saying it's in this circle, but we're not telling you where. So essentially not holding your hand. That's essentially what, it, what it's basically doing. It's just telling you, hey, like it's here, but we're not telling you where. Okay, uh, can I pull him out? This is gonna be tough, because he's, he's over this rock. It's not, get, not gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm not gonna get him out there. Okay, I got this. I, I understand what I gotta do. It's very simple. I'm eating up too much, too much mud here. Way too much mud. Ah, uh, actually, no. I want this. He's stuck on something. Yeah, he's stuck on something in his front end. So I guess I'll just readjust him. Should have just brought the cat 745C and then just uh, 
pulled this guy out with it with ease, but hey, this is this is the nature of it, right? Makes good content, yeah. That it does. I don't know why he's not re reversing. Oh, he is. But he isn't. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Really? No points? Are you serious right now? You, you're giving me no winch points to him at all. Is this is this real life now? Okay, let me move up here and into the trees a little farther. Dude, this might take me like two hours. <laughs> this might... I could have made this so much easier on myself. I just brought a different truck. Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality, yeah. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, let me go like this, pull myself here, back up. Yeah, I mean, I tore this place up so bad that it's like, it's just not good. <laughs> Not good. I'm pretty sure I can get him now. If I can just, I, it's gonna be tough getting him through this gap, but I'm pretty sure if I can just get him through this gap, we're good to go. Okay, let's go. My favorite SnowRunner streamer? Wait, what do you mean? My favorite? Oh man, probably District. He's pretty much the only one, only one of the content creators that actually like streams. I'm gonna say District B13 and then I'm gonna say Alien Pirate. Yeah, I'm gonna say Alien Pirate for sure. He's very he's not really known, but I followed him pretty much from the beginning. Uh 
appreciate that, Malzy. Thank you, man. Ever watch Mr. Lone Wolf? A little bit. A little bit. Here and there. I'm not I'm usually not up uh really late to kinda like watch Mr. Lone Wolf, right? Okay. This this looks weird, what I'm doing right now. This looks really weird. But what I'm doing is I'm actually setting myself up to grab him and pull him away from that rock so that I can span that gap. So it just takes a second to actually set up because yeah, I'm it's basically winter runner right now, so this is, this is essentially my life. Okay, almost. I'm almost there. Okay, that is good. That is good news. Okay. Good thing I brought a uh, fuel tanker with me, huh? So stupid, right? <laughs> good old hard mode. Pretty much, the ANK is going to just take all this himself for sure, yeah. That's pretty accurate. Okay, let's go back. It is a very thirsty truck. That is absolutely certain. Okay, Roots, get off of me. Get off of me. Any suggestions on a small, fun small log truck? Ooh, I don't know. Okay, so the Mac is there. Can I reach this? No, of course not. So let's pull my front end away from this this pit and see if I can actually get myself going out of this mud in some form and fashion. The croc can be fun, but I don't think the croc can actually haul logs, though, unless you want to pull them with a... Home with the trailer. Come on, Mac. Which Voron is my favorite? I would probably say the Voron Grad. Um, but the other two are really good. The other two are super good. Over here, yes, I do. Cool, let's go. The Croc DLC. No, the Mac is running. You can see right there. Turn engine off. It's on. It's the, the Mac is on. 
it's just stuck on that rock. Of course it would be too. It's fashionably so. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, he's stuck on that rock. So, man, I need to pull him away from that rock. Ugh. Give me the cat 745C right now. Yeah, I thought about that actually, Abyss. But the thing is, if I don't know if I can actually reach him from here. So what I would do currently is go like this. But I can't reach him. And then I, it would be a sure thing to pull him over that. Is a logging place in Earth's Grove the only place for short logs? I don't know. Yeah, that rock is like, it's there, dude. It's like definitely lodged. He's lodged in. He is definitely like lodged in there. It's not good because I don't see how I could actually get him out without drowning myself. How do I say this? Gonna refuel my water bottle? Nice. Why can I not pull him? Okay. He's not even like moving. It's the roots. Look at that, it's the roots now. I don't even know if I can get him out. I really don't think I could get him out. Not with this truck. Unless I have... I don't want to dig myself into a spot where I can't get out right now. Mac, Mac, Mac. What are you doing, man? Do I really have to go get the Cat 745C? I almost think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Get the Scout 800? Okay, so check this out. Okay, so see, like this is this is the reason that very heavy trucks have a wonderful purpose in the game. Okay, see, look, I tried with the with the mat with the the ANK. I think I could probably, um, if I can get the back winch, I can twist the Mac. Yeah, I probably could do that to be honest.
I might be able to do that. But then I have to like get myself over there. And like I tore this up pretty bad. That's the, that's the problem. The problem is I tore this place up so bad that yeah. Like look, I'm barely able to get out through here. Yeah. Essentially, yeah, he's stuck on... It, it's not that. It's He's stuck on roots now. So, like, I'll show you. <laughs> Leave and come back. It'll respawn. Really? Sure. Oh. Wait, no, no. The, the texture will still stay, right? See, look. Look. Look, see the root here. And the root here. Going right through the truck. He, he's literally buried in these. And then on top of that... On top of that, he has this. You can't really see it. Yeah. So basically, do this. Urshka River and Cherno Commence, the only place for short logs. Okay, let's load back in and see. Or do you mean like switch map? If it respawns the texture, I, I doubt it will because I have a truck in that place. I think when you leave a truck there. Yeah, I think when you leave a truck there, it, it doesn't allow for the, the surface to reset. Not always. Well, let's let's hope it. Let's hope it does. Hope it does. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> hmm. All right. You know, what? I got one. I got one last idea. I got one last idea here. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this. I can't. I can't knock that over. I have to keep that branch there. That's like my lifeblood. Okay, so here's my last... Here's my last ditch effort right here. I think the only way... I can get him... Is if I pull his... His end... Maybe pull his front end to the right here. That way his he might get unstuck from those roots, and then I can prop maybe maybe grab him from that way. Let's see. No. The collision. Vision on the tree is not going to work. Okay. Well, I have a I have a very nice solution for this. Oh, and that is Cat 745C, <laughs> which is why it's one of my favorite trucks in the game. Oh. All right. Well, we tried. Here is the big dogs coming out. Had enough. Saw enough. Man, 
Man, look at this. An hour and 30 minutes. And we've only <laughs> unlocked the, the Kenworth. <laughs> oh, man. I could, I could probably safely say... Um, yeah, we're going to have enough time for the subathon. Oh, yikes, that hurt. Yeah, man. That's right, Pedro. Yeah. It's the thing, man. The cat is like that. This is, And this is why I think heavy trucks should exist in this game is like for things like this. Like I took a stab. I took, you know, took a stab at getting it out. You know, with uh, an, a medium truck, an off road truck. That was some pretty thick situation. I got it too. I got it. I got it pretty far out. You know, we struggled. But now, you know, it's like, hey, it's time. It's time to bring out the, the big gun. And this is what I think heavy trucks are good for, you know, rescues, big hauls. You know, when you essentially need an out. Yeah, that's when that's when I think heavy a heavy truck is supposed to be used for. And I think that should be their strength, not not like not as in every every mission truck. Road signs can be deadly too at three across the map. Ooh. I've had road signs go into the car or go into the truck and then Yeah. That wasn't fun. And then you get stuck. Oh, come on. Okay. The old cat coming down. Coming to help. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's turn this around. Just get this going right now. Imagine this gets stuck. I know, right? Oh, come on, man. Don't say that. Don't say that. Kidding, dude. Wow, dude. Okay, he is like in there. Okay, so this is, this is ridiculous. Why can I not grab his front end? Yo, what's up? What's up, Golden? Welcome in. You didn't miss much. You didn't miss much. You missed a lot of struggling and uh, 
about it. But I think we're gonna. I think we're good now. Dude, that rock. Look at that rock. It is inside its frame. Oh my. Are you kidding me right now? What is going on? What's up, Cotton? Welcome in. Are you kidding me? Look at that rock. That huge boulder is inside his, his actual frame. How am I supposed to get him out of there with that? Wow, dude. Okay. Um, maybe I try to pull him over that, I guess. You didn't struggle with this at all? Yeah, the first time I didn't struggle with either, but I also just went in here and pulled him out with the big truck. So, just a little bit different. Dude, that, that thing is like lodged, bro. Why can't I grab his back end? You know what I'm saying? I want to grab his back end. I can't do it though. It's just a very odd thing. There's the tentacles grabbing the truck again. Do I have any recommendations for a hauler trucks in Kola Peninsula as far as deep snow? Honestly, Azovs, Vorons, the Tega, they're all going to be good. They're all going to be good. Oh, dude, there's the... I can't... See, why can't I not grab his frame? <laughs> what is going on with this this rescue, man? This is shouldn't This shouldn't be a thing. He's literally... Pulling me down. Okay, I got I got an idea. Okay, can I attach winch now or what? Okay. I'm going to try to grab the back end of his vehicle, I guess, or something of, of those sorts. If it lets me, if it lets me here, I don't I don't know. Is it going to let me? Oh, nice. It did. Okay. How nice. How nice of you. Ridiculous. Look at that. There's just a boulder stuck in his axles, man. What am I supposed to do with that? 
<laughs> I don't understand. Okay, finally, I think it got out. Wait, no, it didn't. Okay, well... So that was part of the problem, right there. I mean... It's kind of hard to pull a truck out when you have a boulder. That's literally, you can see it right there, it's lodged inside of his axle. Look, it's still there. Yep, it's just gonna be tough to do this because he's it's just pulling. Have I ever experienced this before? Not that, no. I mean I don't I don't get it. Like I'm I'm really It's just there. I don't understand. Yeah, I've been cheating, that's why, yeah, I know. It's you got one small stone stuck in your sideboard bed once? Packed the whole thing almost wow. Okay, wait, where do I turn here? It's here? Yeah. Okay. I almost want to flip him over. Just like flip him over, but I it's kinda of hard to flip the Mac over. Hey, the cat 745C saved the day. <laughs> hey, and now we can play the Mac. You can tell, and you can tell, like, it, it feels like there's some resistance. Like, this should be towing this pretty, pretty easy. At least it hasn't gone flying off the rock. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I guess there is, there is some good things, though. Wait, am I going the right way? Dude, I'm not even going the right way. What an idiot. Oh. This is like the stream of death. Hey, look at this. Look at this maneuvering now. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Follow the yellow circles. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we're, we're back. The stone is intact. Title of the stream, the 745C saves the campaign. That was old Bill's yard. Yeah, it was. Follow the yellow brick road. Yeah. Coming through. That's actually a pretty good horn. I dig it. Trampoline. Car. Looks like every mailbox has mail that's outgoing. Alright, so moral, moral of the story, guys, is... Uh, yeah, don't try to rescue that truck with... A smaller vehicle it's just I don't want to say it's not it's impossible but those roots that are down there just are not friendly and then you have that mr. boulder that's also not very friendly
bad neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can tell. You can tell there's something that's holding the, the Mac. We like we should not be going this slow right now. It's it's funny, like there is some type of resistance. Good old number 88. Cat 745C, man. Never lets me down. Never lets me down. Look at that. I, I can't get over I can't get over that. I just can't get over it. Okay, whatever. I'm climbing over this stupid thing. We're just going to climb over it. I'll probably get another rock lodged in my truck. Shit, I'll just discover this right now. There we go, cool. Yeah, that's right, dude. Cat doesn't care about your your blockade walls. Except for the Mac might. Yeah, get over there. Look at that. <laughs> the rock still didn't come out, huh? Alright. <laughs> That's what the cat thinks about those. <laughs> That's why I love this truck, man. Like, yeah, it might it might get beat. It might get beat in like mud performance with like I don't know. Probably the fem. The fem probably beats it. I think the Antarctic edges it out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I doubt the Femme, with its long body, can just crawl over that thing like it just did that easily. It might be able to, I guarantee it, but... Yeah, not today, man. Long nose? No way. Cat745C doesn't care. It just, uh... It's just such a... How do I say this, man? It's just such a balanced vehicle. Is the Tatcha Force Crane better than the IM-50? I believe so. Wait, the IM-50? The IM-50 is what? Is that the, the Russian small crane? Oh my, dude. That rock has really hurt me. I'll take a photo. We have to take a photo at some point, guys. Yeah, we have to take a photo at some point. Documentation, right? Yeah, the blue one, yeah, it is stronger than the than the Russian crane. I think the Russian crane is like the weakest, the weakest crane of them all, actually. You know what? I need to make those blurbs less. I need to make them less, uh, 
less channel points. I'm, I'll probably do that after stream. Make them like 500 apiece. I think I think a thousand's way too much for those. There aren't many. It would be fun if your game show you the screenshots during loading screens. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool, actually. Mirrors and turtles! <laughs> actually, it's like this. That would be pretty cool, though. Where are the turtles? Okay, is there anyone in here that likes The Office? Like the U the U.S. version. Steve Carell. Mirror the turtle! <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> really? Okay. You love the U.K. version? I haven't seen the UK version, but I can I can say for sure that the the US version with Steve Carell was amazing. That's essentially what all my blurbs are. Most of them. Stupid. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is. It's about to get all stupid up in here. Yeah. Sure is. Oh, nice fuel station. This is great, man. This is gonna be great for like getting ready to take my trucks and move them to a different area. I have a fuel station right there. Oh, this is going to be great, man. Yo, God bless the person who made season 10. Seriously. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. Yeah, this, Will I true. get over it? Mm. No. But life goes on. Indeed it does. Okay. Where's the garage? Let's get to the garage. Oh wow, it already has the multi-purpose? Hmm. Let's get to the garage. I'll get it inside the garage. I'm going to recover it. We're going to take it out. And we have the Mac. And we're going to use the Mac. I'm kind of like how it has the multi-purpose already. I'm kind of liking this, man. Okay. I think the garage is like right here, right? Yeah. Discover. Yay. Oh, that's right. We have to like, repair that garage. That's right. Okay. Uh, so global move. Okay. Well, here comes the Mac defense. We're going to start cracking away at some missions here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go 13 OT, multi purpose. I think the active. Yeah, I'll put the active. I think that. Yeah, I'll do the active. OHS2, as always. I could use the Jats, but. Meh. I don't need balance. I need, I want power. I want sh raw performance. Snorkels. High sitting. You guys already know how it's going down. Low saddle. LC 3.8. Yikes. The only problem I like about this man is this. Look how far it sits up. Yeah, it looks so good in green. I'm not even going to change it. The only, only, only way I would change it is to like a, a sand color. But we're not in the desert. We're in British Columbia. You know what I'm saying? I would love... I would honestly love to see this move to right over this beam. And be centered between these last two. Maybe even farther back. Could you, could you imagine how great of a low saddle this would be? Uh, I kind of like... You know what? We're not doing that. Get that crap out of here. Doing the supplies for sure. You know what? I kind 
kind of like that, actually. Mm, I'll do the stock. Oh, shoot, dude. They have these? For real? Oh, yeah. That thing looks bad, buddy. That thing looks bad. Actually, that looks sick, too. That sand. We have the Mac, baby. Let's go get it. Let's go do some stuff. Let's go, uh... Let's go conquer. Okay. Now. What's up, DCADs? Uh, welcome in, guys. Okay. So we struggled for too long. I'm going to see... I think it's this. This garage construction. Although, no, that's on North Peak. Never mind. Is it this warehouse? Wooden planks, sawmill. I'm trying to think here. I want to get these warehouses all... I want to get these warehouses all going. Especially the one by the garage here. Wait. I think this is later though. I think it is later, I don't know. Yeah, the wheels sink into the ground. Yeah, yeah, I see that. When you leave, yeah, it kind of sucks. Okay, that's North Peak now. Where's the one that opens up this warehouse? Here we go. This is what I want. This is what I want. So concrete slab, wooden planks, and then the cargo container. Yo, good morning, old man. Shorty, welcome in. Okay, this is what we're doing. Let's do this. Uh, it was, I would say, challenging, man. Last stream, we were using the 114 SD. Uh, struggled a lot. We got some stuff done. Today, we tried to pull out the, the MAC defense out of its hole with the ANK to no avail, and then we had to bring in the big guns. So, we finally got it done. And now we're gonna go uh, hack the Mish. All right, so what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the Mac defense for a little bit. Either sometime in this stream or next stream, we're going to vote on the next truck I buy, okay? That's kind of what we're gonna do. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to just s send it. Even though I probably should fix these bridges. Hold on a second. We're at railway station. South City Bridge. Yeah, the ANK was thwarted, man. What's up, Larpup? Welcome in, man. Actually, hold on. Temporary measures. Short logs. Yuck. Okay, I got an idea. We'll do the South City Bridge. I can dodge this. I'm pretty sure I can dodge this stuff. You vote the most expensive one? Yeah, uh, wait. This is not crafting, right? Cool, that's awesome. All right, cool. Yeah, we're gonna go do the South City Bridge first. And then I'll just head northbound from that. Yeah, it's dodgeable. There's actually a couple missions I'm gonna do here. Or there's there's one I'm actually going to pull. It's this trailer over here as well. 
But first... So it's this trailer right here. Backup resource. We'll pull this up to whenever we head northbound. So yeah, that's what we'll do. But I need... What was it? How many is that? Three? I need four, I think. Yeah, I need four wooden planks. Okay, cool. Got it. Let's go. Wasting all that money taking the ferry? I don't care about the money. I don't care about the money. We got enough. What do we have right now? 700,000? Yeah. We're good to go. Yeah, we got enough. Let's see. Uh, for money, as money's concerned, I think I, pro I probably only use like 50,000 50, cash snow bucks, as someone called it before. 50,000 snow bucks every map. That's actually probably an exaggeration, to be honest. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really spend. And then repairs, yeah, it's whatever. And anyways, these maps, you make a ton of cash. Especially, like, when you get to endgame, I mean, you're making 500k per two maps, and so it's... Okay, four. Wait, what am I doing? Oh. I'm thinking I'm going that way, but we're not. We're going this way. Just punch high right now. Wait, what was the last truck we bought last season when we voted? You guys remember? What was the last one we bought? Mac, it's fun to drive even without the biggest engine? Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is super fun to drive. I really think, though... The multi-purpose helps a ton with fuel consumption. I highly recommend it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go stop by for a drink. Drink, even though it's like twelve twelve dollars a gallon. Sorry, whatever. Yo, what's up, Tangy? Welcome in. Malzi, you said you're still on the drilling station accident contract? Nice. Wait, you're on season 10? Or... Start tracking. Got ourselves a bridge. I don't know how wooden planks, you know, add concrete and, uh... And metal, but uh, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll take it. You know, we'll, we'll take it. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. We gotta go back. We 
We gotta go back, guys. What a jackknife. Look at that. Oh, it's season 10. It's a pain. I'm trying to think which one that is. Is that the one where you take it up to, like, up here? This drilling station up here? I gotta go grab this trailer that's down here. It kind of behooves me to grab this. The concrete and metal was already there. They just needed the wood for the forms. Is that what it said in the contract? If it did, then I feel real stupid right now. There's, there's another fuel. Yeah, there's another fuel carrier back here, right there. Boom. Kind of crazy. You're just making stuff up. You almost had me there, Slane. You almost had me there. What does this, what does this thing have here? Yeah, we're gonna have to pull this out at some point and use that. We will though, just not right now. Lots of lots of free fuel on this map, so that's that's actually another really good thing. The three drills are always a pain. Oh wait, is that where you take them up to there? Right? Is that kind of is that where I like I showed? Right. Am I going to use some highway trucks in season 12? Dude, are you serious? I just planted this thing. I pulled over. Will it just jump up to its wheels actually? Let's see. It might. It might. It could. <gasps> Almost. There it is. <laughs> How about that? Am I gonna use some highway trucks? Um, we might. There is a lot of paved roads, but I mean, yeah, we, we might. I actually heard through the grapevine that season 12, the first map is actually kind of rough. Yo, what's up Oni, welcome in, good to see you man. Yes, very long time no see, how are you been? All right, so this, essentially, this trailer is going up to this one point, and then I'm going up here to kind of drop this off. We'll grab, I might just do some other missions up here while I'm at it, to be honest. Like pulling the CLT out, stuff like that. You're still not getting notified, really? Oh dude, that's, that's not good. It's not good. But we have good news though. This Saturday we're doing a subathon. Same time, same place, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, subathon. All donations and subs increase the time of the stream. The stream will start at normal time limits. And the maximum amount of time I will be on stream, <laughs> regardless of how much we get, the maximum amount of time is probably going to be like eight or nine hours. There's no way I can make it past those two. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping the stream goes well. We get some good progress done and hopefully the stream doesn't die. <laughs> You don't get a notifications too? Wow, that's so weird, man. Oh, I think this is a mission too. <laughs> Order me all the coffee then? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just fly down through here. No worries. 
No worries, no worries. Stuck on something, maybe not, okay. Dang, that horn is legit. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. It's it's gonna be a good stream. Might have to set up something where you order me coffee, man. Dude, I have so much coffee. I I order it. Uh, ooh, tools for the lift. I might, dude. I'm gonna do some of this stuff actually after I drop this off. So we'll do backup, backup source real quick, and then I'm gonna go run around this this place and do some missions. I think. You've been doing some your own hard mode. You're at Co Lake Cove now. <laughs> You're at COVID. I mean Lake Cove. Speaking of COVID, I'm like literally just getting over COVID, or I'm in like the late stages of of recovering of it. Get you some Death Wish coffee. Oh gosh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> you have to reactivate your notifications every month or so, dude. That's weird, man. It's so weird. It's like uh, it's like Twitch doesn't like me or something, you know. Come on. Get up. Ah, oh, I'm trying to like. Get up to your wheels. I'm just burning so much fuel from this trailer acting a fool right now. Unreal. Come on. All right, cool. We're good. We're good to go. Crisis averted. No. Okay. Whew. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just take it. Take it with the semi. Yeah, I will. I'll refuel from the generator. Oh, you know it, dude. You know it. You know what, you gotta pull out all the stops, you know? The cheater is back in town, you know what I'm saying? The guy that uses vanilla trucks and, and cheats, somehow, by overstacking cargo. <laughs> is there is there anybody that really thinks that? Like, I, I have to ask, I just have to ask. It's okay to it's okay to have that opinion. I mean, it's okay. Oh, I probably shouldn't have backed up this way, but it's fine. Oh, watch out for the park bench. All right, let's go. Someone call the Reddit police. Seriously, dude. Someone give him give him a call here. Is there someone who doesn't do that? Oh, there's there's a there's a good many people who don't do that. JJ thinks it's great at overload. I know JJ overloads. I was watching him a little bit yesterday, actually. Um, what was it? What was he doing? He was in a moor. He was actually trying to go over and get the Zix. I wa I was watching him, man. The struggle the struggle was real, and I definitely appreciate the struggle. You know what? I probably should have just took a some type of fuel trailer and refilled this whole thing, but it's fine. I'm just going to let it ride. Okay, I'm just finding out what else we're going to do here. Yeah, big time overloads, yeah. I don't know if I do super big overloads, but I try to. Try to do some. Fuel for the vehicles. 
Um, dang. You know what? I actually might grab something to refuel this. We, we're just going to go do both of these right now. Yeah, we're just going to go do both of these right now. I have an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, grab this, pull this here, grab this trailer, hook them both up, pull them both out. I'm probably going to have to purchase a new trailer to siphon up to 90%. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, still, in the, I'm still in the business. We're still in the business of uh, taking free fuel when we can, even though I just let go like 300 gallons. But yeah. So you had a derp on season 12 delivering the, delivering the radar trailer. On the sideboard. You got locked into the trailer? Oh, dude, seriously? Oh, I shouldn't have went this way. I have a bridge. I don't know why I went this way. This is, that was stupid, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, so yeah, today... We're going to have a little bit easier of a time because we have a much better truck pulling cargo. But I don't know. <clears throat> Did anybody appreciate seeing the 114 SD struggle yesterday? Or was that just kind of a... You just kind of bared that experience. It was entertaining? Okay. Okay, crap. You know what? Yeah, I, I didn't go that way. And I'm sorry. I think it was fun. We didn't get much done, but... You know, we, uh... It did show that it could, it could do some stuff, though, right? You know? Oh, these two... These trailers, too. That's another mission for that. These curtain sides. Man, there's just so many things that you want to like chain together on this map, but you know what actually? So I don't tear up this road. I actually might go around. I'm gonna go around actually. And then yeah, just so I don't tear it all up. You got a fleet star with a flatbed for the next struggle? Wait a second. What do you mean? You mean like points? You meaning like channel points? Oh no. Oh no. Or self imposed. <sighs> I'm okay with doing the fleet star. Those curtain sides? Guess who delivered to the wrong place? Ooh. I've done the same thing, Jelly Beans. I've done the same thing, my man. Look how much better this thing is as an off-roader now that they, they fixed its collision model. It's insane. Man, these rims look so sweet on these tires, too. Yikes. Wait, go this way. If only this gearbox had low plus instead of low minus. Oh man, could you imagine? Forward to the service center.
they put low minus instead of low low plus on purpose just to elevate other options i think i think so yeah i think you're right scorpy because <clears throat> then again if, if you if they would have given us low plus like what would be the reason to even use the off-road gearbox right actually i don't want to there we go there's the correct winch spot it was acting weird Yeah, I think you're right. I definitely think you're right. Because I think, I don't know, honestly, man, like, there's no reason that I would have to use low minus for this thing. It's always going to have enough power. go and the reward the the award for worst winch positions on a trailer goes to the hitch fuel trailer <clears throat> the absolute worst winch positions ever on a trailer fuel and water yeah good good correction there same same trailer basically right This is a, just a good looking truck, bro. Can I make it? Oh. Yeah, I love low plus two. Honestly, it's it's a great, great gear. Look at this. Like, where is the winch in the back? How dumb. How stupid. Okay, so this is going to be kind of crazy, actually, because now... Because the truck wants to understeer, so I have to, like, kind of make sure it guides it over. Okay. exactly what I'm going to do. Just going to pull it straight through here. Set it over that rock. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's already flipped? Okay, cool. Nice. That's great. But, we'll do this like this. Grab this side. Yeah, that's the only, the only time I use is with axle freeze. Yeah, same here. Yes, it is some precarious convoys this morning. You are absolutely great. I probably need to actually disconnect and go get him. Which, yeah, we can go do right now. stuck on what am I stuck on is it that tree oh that tree is just uh yeah one of those guys what oh the roots look at that again oh again again okay Got it. I got it.
Just come along, buddy. You're just gonna come for the ride here. Come for the ride, my friend. Just come for the ride. It's all gonna be okay. Get your back to your home. No! Wait, do I have my engine still? I don't. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn my... I didn't turn my crane time. There it is, guys. That is... I don't have anything up here. I don't have a single... A single piece. Oh my. Yikes, dude. This is the worst. <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't lying. I am unlucky today. Uh, no, God! <laughs> no, God, please, no! No! All right. No! What do I take up there? Okay, so hold up. Let me ask you guys a question. I got an idea. I got an idea. What truck am I going to pull this with? This trailer right here. What do you got? What tr what truck you want to see me pull the construction trailer? Yeah, I forced it a little bit there too. Yeah, I was I was like really. Up. Yeah, I was kind of doing some stupid stuff there. The Zix, this which one? Six hundred five R. Come on, Scorpy. Come on, Victor. You guys know I'm not using those two trucks for that. P twelve. Ooh, P twelve might be fun. You guys really want to see the P12 pull it? International Lodestar. The construction trailer. <laughs> 5600 TS. Do I even have... Ooh. You know, I need to, I need to buy... You go up the mountain with a dairy special for a nice flex. Ah, what's up, Storm? Welcome in. Maybe the dairy special, dude. I feel like I've never pulled it with the dairy special. <gasps> Where's the dairy special at? like everything's under control Whew. sometimes it's not that's for sure okay all right time to go save him you do it with the touch of force no way Tatra Force sits way too low for that. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Here, here's the thing. Pulling it with any vehicle, I'm going to have to have help. Looks like a completely different truck in this color. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, just throw high. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to have another truck come help. Depends on the route. Yeah, if I'm going up the hill, it's going to need help. I'm pretty certain it's going to have, have to have help if I go up that hill. You think it might get it done? Honestly, it's for the power. Maybe... I don't know. Okay, I have to slow down here. Oh my! <laughs> so you had to help the Kolob. So the Kolob... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's, e if it's even going to be a power issue. I think it's more of a grip issue going up the hill. I think it's more more or less going to be a grip issue for this truck. 
if anything. You did it solo with the Kenworth with a lot of winching? Dude, that's impressive. So you must have you must have put your, your route close to all the trees going up. Emotional damage, yeah, exactly. Dude, all of my stuff is gone. Last time I pulled it with the Kenny, I had to ha I had to have help. But I also think I might have or I should have taken it like closer to the trees. I believe I was close, but I wasn't close enough. A lot of sweating and cursing. <laughs> you did it up the hill with the dairy special, but it was a lot of slog. Well, shoot, that's, we're going to try it. I could take, I think the 605R could do it. If, if the Kenny could do it, 605R has, has more power to weight. Probably just as much grip with that. Yeah, I think the, I think the 605R can do it, but yeah, I feel like I, too much of that crap. Six to five R can pretty much do everything. To be honest, I, th I I forget what truck came to help the Kenny. I don't know if it was the six to five. It was something. It might have just been this truck. To be honest. Loaf could do it. I guarantee someone would try, right? Y'all are just being, being silly. You think you helped it with a seven, 750? Wedge it against a tree? Oh, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, that would help. No, that's real life. That's real life stuff. Yeah, you can do that. If you, any vehicle that you wedge against a tree and you get a winch off, you, you pretty much have an immovable object. And you can pull. Yeah, you can actually do that. You yeah, you can do that. You can flip you can flip heavy trucks with scouts because of that. I mean, you can see Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf does it a lot with the loaf. And the thing is the loaf the loaf's winch is not stronger than any truck that's heavier than it. So like the Hummer has a stronger winch than the loaf, just because it weighs more. Because winch strength is directly connected to the the weight of the vehicle. So Hummer weighs a little bit more than the loaf, so yeah. But the thing is, when you when you wedge a truck into a tree and you get a winch off, yeah, you can pull pretty hard. It takes a while, you have to be persistent, but it works. It'll work. Someone said to take it this way, but you don't agree? It, it probably would go, uh, how do I say this? So where does that trailer actually go? Let me see where it goes. Where does it go? Uh, no, no, no. Semi trailer with a fishing boat? No, I'm not doing that. Bottom left. Not forestry. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. I think it's this right here. This coiled tube, right? That's it. That's it right there, right? I think so. Maybe it's not. There might be two of them. Yeah, it's this one right here. Drilling. Yeah, this is it. So the only way that I think this could work, so you, you basically would have to bring it Okay, so going up this hill right here with it is a nightmare. This is this is X, big X right here. Big X right here, do not do that. Do not do this either, that's a nightmare. You would literally have to take it up this way 
through here. This could be done because I've done the other pull with the boar up this hill, so it could be done. And then you'd essentially just go through here and then through here and then boom. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be done. Yeah, I need to fix the pipe, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm not definitely not gonna go that way though. I'm just gonna take it up the hill, do the do the dirty route, you know. Uh can I is there is there a way, sir, that I can like sneak by here? Oh <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, we're not having a good day today. <laughs> really? Oh, this is great. This is great, man. I love it. Oh man, this is great. Too Yo far! <laughs> God! Time to rescue the rescue. Gosh. Will I get over it? No. No. But life goes on. What do I do? What do I do? Yo, Ben, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. What do I get out here? I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. <laughs> I live close to you. Oh, guys. Why? What do I even get out here? I'm trying to figure this out. Oh. Take out the 605R? No, I don't want to do that. Western Star? Oh, dude, shortcuts are good. Come on, guys. Shortcuts are good. Some of them are bad. We're just kind of, yeah. Some of them can be bad. The loaf. The Tuz 166. You got, let me take the loaf out. No, guys, I got to get this pit dip dip. Okay, you know what? Here we go. Let's go. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I have the Kenny right here. Oh, this is gonna take me forever to get up there, dude. This is gonna take me forever. You got a question? Shoot, bro. Go ahead, shoot it. Shoot from the hip. So many questions. What questions do you have? What questions do you have? All right, gotta not knock over our stuff here. There we go. What trucks do I recommend for a more? I would say whatever trucks you think are going to get you through a more. Whatever trucks you think you can get you through a more. Um, if you're playing in order. The trucks you come by already, you you pretty much have the machinery for for it already. The 605R is going to help you a lot, um, which is kind of like a given. But yeah, honestly, man, Amor is not that bad. I think people hype Amor up a little bit too much, but it's it's really not that bad. But I've also played this game a ton, right? Uh, link deleted. Yeah, because I don't allow links. Sorry. T 
Throw the Kenny with the loaf just in case. Yeah, that's gonna be... Honestly, this is gonna be really tough. I'm gonna say this is gonna be really tough. What you say? You say the link deleted too, and you didn't put a link. I'm not sure what you mean. You gotta elaborate. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I see what I gotta do here. I see what we gotta do here. You're lost. What are you lost about? Easy as the Mac? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, bullhead. He put a dot between two words and the bot was thought it was a link? Really? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's just the bots for you. That's the nature of bots. Yo, what's up, Mr. Killies? Welcome in, man. Using the, the con sentinel with the jats and the more. Oh, dude, that's that's smart. Sentinel's pretty good, man. Especially, I mean, all, all scouts definitely benefit from the jats. Absolutely. In which region is the upgrade for more? Uh, I'm not sure. The KR Castum? The KR Castum's prob- if, if- I think it's probably on Cosmodrome. I don't know, but I mean, you could always check Map Runner. I wouldn't know off the top of my head. It's NEI? Oh, I think you're right. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I don't know every- every location, that's for sure. There's way too many upgrades to keep track of. Mousy man, just pull up, pull up Map Runner, dude. Do you, do you know what Map Runner is? It's probably the one of the best reference sites you could use. Here, you know what? I'm gonna do you a solid right now. I'm gonna do you a solid, dude, just because, uh... You don't know what MapRunner is? This is MapRunner. MapRunner.info literally has all these maps. You have all these vehicles. You have all these resources for all these guides. You even have the 3D snow render maps. So, you go over to... Let's go back to Interactive Maps. Go over to More. NAI. There's the KR Custom. Here's the gateway from Erska River. Here's the KR Custom engine. Right here. <clears throat> this is actually kind of hard to get to. This is actually the last upgrade I found in the game. Or in this region. Yeah, Map Runner is a W. But yeah, this is it right here. But yeah, that's it. Go to maprunner.info and yeah, you will you will thank yourself for that. I promise. There's a ton of information there. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to show us no render. It, it takes too many GPU resources just to render the files out. But essentially, snow render is a 3D map, and it can show you even consistencies of mud. So Naked Dave made that one. Mud or snow and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's definitely just a, a great version of Map Runner that's embedded in the Map Runner site. I think it's a good pick. <clears throat> I mean, all, yeah, I mean, all, all scouts kind of spin a lot, right? I think it's a pretty good pick, though. Oh, 
Alright, let's see if I can tip this over. No promises here, because uh, I don't really have anything to wedge to. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be tough. All right. The only thing about the KR custom is like it's it's not very strong. Like look at its here, I'll show you. Look at this. 70 overall. <clears throat> and it doesn't have really much uh I need to get over this little thing right here. Okay, so now. I need to reposition myself. Let's see, will this work? No, no. Just don't, if I could grab his front end, that would be like optimal. I'm just, I just don't think I can grab it. Yikes, this is going to be tough. It's going to be really tough because I can't grab his front end. If I could just grab his front end, this would be cake. But... I can just crawl up here. No, this is not going to reach. I'm way off. Okay, I have an idea. Look at this little egg body. crawl up this, but if I can. Is this close enough? Nope. Yep. Dude, are you serious right now? Okay, I probably need to pull. I can probably do this now. I can probably do this from the other angle. <laughs> yeah, that's a picture, right? No, I want I want his side now. I want his side. Okay, I just need to get myself out of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have enough rope. 
No, not yet. Actually, wait, it's like this. Now we got it. Give me a wedge, stop me. Oh dude, he's like actually tipped over over. Okay, here we go. I got an idea, I got an idea. Okay, so now I have an idea, yeah. This is gonna, uh, Go egg machine to the, to the rescue. All right, so now he's there. Now I have myself a tree. Let's see if the, the little the trick can work here. Wait, I need to actually wedge myself correctly here. dude okay now Maybe I need a longer rope. I might need a longer rope, dude. Let's see. All right, let's go longer. Let's go a little longer here. Not far enough. Okay, so then the next the next tree we go. I think this should work. I'm not really on a hill. Oh dude. Pull me off. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Thomas? Welcome in. We're, uh, we're acting a fool right now. I think it's I think it's cashed out now dudes I think it's cashed out now I don't think we're gonna get it 
I don't think we're going to get it now. Going uphill is going to be even much more, more of a struggle. And I, I don't think I could tip him over. I don't think I could tip him over if it's not going downhill. We can try. Okay, whatever. Okay, so yeah, couldn't get it with the loaf. I just want to tip it over. <clears throat> Which is fine. We'll just go get the. No, it's not too weak, actually. It's not too weak. When That's actually not a thing, so. This is a good a good time to talk about this, actually. So, winch strength. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> here's a good. Here's a good. Uh, little lesson here in wind strength. Okay, check this out. <laughs> all right, so here's here's all your winch lengths and here's all their power, okay? Okay, so yes, the advanced, the advanced scout winch is going to be more powerful. Yes, that is absolutely true. However, no one really is going to use an advanced scout winch, especially when you have a chance to flip yourself over. So yeah, it is actually kind of quite weak right but also here's the thing as you can see even the the heavy scat the heavy winches they are no stronger than the advanced mediums actually the the highest pure power rating for a winch is actually a scout winch okay now here's the here's the other kicker is this this is the power how do i say this the power equation for winch strength so basically truck net weight times the multiple the multiplier i don't know if it says multiplicator is i would just call some multiplier these things are what factors in power of your winch so basically a heavier truck has a stronger winch by the multiplier and that's why you know, trucks like smaller scouts that have a little bit more weight on them, they have a little bit more power on their winch. So, but yeah, you can flip scout, you can flip heavy trucks over. It's just, it has to be in the right scenario. But also the dairy special is hard to flip. <laughs> has, a, has a good bit of weight in its cab. So yeah, we just couldn't get it done. I'm a failure. I failed you guys. varies in distance too i think i think distance actually add, adds in as well i know that you have a stronger pull from a straight line as well but i don't know if that's a factor in here i'm not failed unless i've given up no we're not giving up we will never surrender we will never surrender larp pup ever I'm pretty sure I can flip him over though. I think I can flip the Mac over. 
Oh, maybe not. Do I have anything to wedge to? I do. Okay, never mind, I do. That might help. Galaxy, Galaxy Quest? What's that? What is that? Did I just indirectly quote that or something? Never give up, never surrender. I don't have anything to wedge to. I don't have anything to wedge to, actually. This is kind of a uh, sad face right now. Don't have this. No, not the length. Never seen it, sadly. No! Oh, I was going to deploy that Gonna deploy the crane there. I just don't have anything to to wedge myself to to actually get him to to flip over. I just don't have it. I guess that worked. All right, cool. All right, guys. We'll flip the, uh, the the old the old dairy special over now. All right, cool. We're back. <laughs> we haven't got much done today. It's been it's been a day, right? This is, this is great. Fun and exciting. This game is like that, yeah, yeah. It's good though. It's good though, I had fun. I had fun. I like screwing around a little bit. This is good. What's going on here? What's going on here, my friend? Whoa. Here we go with this. Here we go with this. Sneak through. Gotta probably have to turn out so he actually can get through. Can he get through? Nice.
don't hit that tree. Please, nice. Okay, nice. All right. So I'll deliver these, and then when I come over to grab some of this cargo, I'll flip over the uh, the mat. I mean the dairy special. I think so. Maybe if we can. Mac attack started this. Yeah, it did. No, this is what started this bullhead. It's my stupidity. Me acting up. <laughs> That's what started it. Well, actually, no. The Mac attack did start this. That's true. I mean, first rescue was nice, man. You know, went up there, refueled, repaired the, you know, the Kenworth. Good to go. Head over to get the Mac defense, and yeah. Great video, I love it. <laughs> it's a, it's been a, you know it's crazy? Hey, I actually, I counted up my hours yesterday, so check this out. I counted up my hours, played on season eight, okay? And I pretty, I think I counted 74 or 75 hours. I'm pretty sure that's the same amount of time I spent on uh on on a more actually. You know what? I'm, I don't really care. I'm just gonna deliver him. I don't really care. Which is kinda crazy. Okay, so I know what I gotta do here. I need to actually Okay, so I got an idea. Here's my idea. Crazy idea, but it's my idea. I'm going to buy a trailer. Yeah, I'm going to buy a trailer. And then I'm going to siphon some fuel from this trailer to the other trailer. So whenever uh, I turn it in, I don't lose all that fuel. Because it's like 400 gallons, right? Where I can just have some 400 gallons of free fuel. So, I mean, why not, right? Before that, we're gonna go get this this guy back on his wheels, actually. Hopefully, hopefully with the Mac I can do this. I'm really hoping I can. Let's see, man. I don't know. Let's see it. See, that's the thing, man. It like it wants to. It like wants to come. It like pull itself over, but it doesn't. Just doesn't want to do it, man. It just doesn't want to. It doesn't want to go. Tipping this thing over is a nightmare. Okay, let's see. Max length. Pull. Let's go. Come on.
Dude, it's rough, man. Tipping the dairy? This is crazy. I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now. I can't believe I'm actually going to wedge myself in to try to tip the dairy. Dairy rescued. <clears throat> we did it! We did it! <laughs> we, did it! <laughs> we got him. No! <laughs> got him, guys. Dude, it's that's a tough one. Flipping him is not it's not a cakewalk. very hard to get him back to its wheels you know what i'm seriously wondering now <clears throat> i'm wondering <sighs> 81 percent you know what we might do actually yeah Yeah, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. I'm going to take that that trailer. I think I'm going to take that trailer to its location. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it. Who cares? I don't care about the money. Let's just do it. Yeah, I'm going to go siphon some fuel. Turn it in. Call it good. Kind of wish I kind of wish I had my what is it my aunt my ANK because he has that tanker on the back and I think by the time he gets over here I probably could siphon a good bit into his tank and I wouldn't have to spend money on this but uh, it's okay it's fine I want that free fuel though Let's go like this. I think it's here. I think it's fuel for vehicles. Yep. I've got an idea. So like this. Now I go like this. Go to Mac defense. That's good enough. <clears throat> That's good enough. So now I fill myself back up, drop this. Did I say the ANK? Yeah, the civilian. Yes, yes, the civilian. Sorry, I must have. I must have said something else. Okay, cool. So this has basically around 10% value left. A little over. It's, it's fine now. And I'll just take take this, turn it in. We'll get all the cash for it. And then I save the fuel, so I don't have to use the fuel. 
So it worked out. else we got to do here that's pretty much it there tools for the lift what's tools for the lift temporary measures tools for the lift drop it well that's like way down here dude south power line yeah I'm not worried about this right now until I get that that opened Slide on the road. Not worried about that yet. Sawmill, bridge, no. Oil rig warehouse, no. Tools for the lift, so spare parts. I can take those there. I can take those there. The deadly race, not gonna do that yet. Temporary measures. Short logs, not really worried about that either. Is a free semi tanker on the second map? Yeah, there is. That's right, yeah. We're gonna use that one too. Oh, there's a free semi tanker here too as well. So yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna, I'm gonna utilize this free fuel as much as possible. It's gonna be a lot of ooh, consumables all the way up there. Vehicle spare parts. Consumables to the, f wait, no. The shed, short logs to the shed. Not, not going to worry about this right now. We'll do... Yeah, I'm going to do this one. Tools for the lift. After we do tools for the lift, it's temporary measures. I think there's like... I think it's just logs. Let's see. I think it is. Yeah, we'll do those later. After I get after I get all this sawmill stuff, where this bridge ironed out, when I go to do this, I'll, I'll start doing logs at once. Okay, so I need to do that. I need to go get... So two service spare parts. And then I need to grab some other stuff. So we'll just do this real quick. I'll probably come over here and grab some of these other materials I need to grab too. I believe I need like a cargo container or something like that. You had a lot left over after completion? Sweet, yeah. I'm definitely going to take it with me. Even though, honestly, I don't think I really really need it too much. But, but yeah, man, I, I was looking up hours the other day and see I beat Season 8 roughly a little under the same time I beat Season 4, which is a more. I couldn't believe that. I really couldn't believe that. That was kind of like so odd to me. Okay, so that and then the railway station. So I need one cargo container, concrete slabs over there. Basically, I'm gonna go grab this cargo container, grab my spare parts. After I take these up here, I'll fly down this route here, down to the factory, grab it, wheel that stuff all the way around. Yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's just very odd. I don't know how that even went down. But also, like, I think farming farming was a big part, though. <clears throat> what is considered beat? I would say 100%. Like, whenever you 100% or more. 100% each each region. That's basically they're basically B. It's done. Whoa! Oh, I got these I got these uh, curtain side trailers over here, don't I? It's fine now. It's fine. Cargo container. Let's go. I'm actually going to delete this trailer because I don't need it. 
See you later. Now we get service spare parts. And then we go take care of this lift. After that, we go get the concrete slab, take these back to the garage, which is like that warehouse. And then we basically can draw from that warehouse to get some pretty good stuff there. Yeah, there's percentages. <clears throat> All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna pause here because I'm going to go to the bathroom and I need to grab a cup of coffee, guys. Um, yeah, it's just something we gotta have. So I will be right back in a minute or so. So hang in there. All right, we're back. Sorry about that wait. Thank you, Scorpy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. All right, let's try not to screw this up. <laughs> How's the coffee this morning? It's good, man. It's really good. I'm on my second cup right now. Cup number two. So I'll leave this trailer here for my gas so I don't have to go. Actually, you know what? Let's let's fix ourselves real quick. Let's go repair. Fill. I love, I love that man. Love it. Uh what is it? Service spare parts? Yeah, service, service. Let's roll out. fill up here just so I can top it off. Let's see if I can, am I in range? Nice, okay, let's go. All right, cool, let's roll. <clears throat>
Man, I wish this thing had a switchable all-wheel drive. Could you imagine, man? Pretty mixed load, yeah. Kind of like multiple missions right now. We, uh, we wasted it. We wa <laughs> Doc, we wasted a lot of time today. I'm doing some dumb stuff, so we gotta... I gotta make up for it. Alright, so I don't know. Honestly, this is going to be very interesting, y'all, because here's the here's the issue I have at hand. Is I don't know if I can pull this trailer up this hill with this truck. We're, we're going to give it a shot. This hill, this is like the hill of death, right? Actually, wait, I think I have. I think I pulled, I pulled it up this hill before the center. Yeah, I think we might do it. I think we'll be all right. Will it let me turn it in here? No, it's not the area. Yeah, it's not the area. I'm pretty sure on my video, I pulled it up there. With the same load, or with similar loads. You guys want to see it? Let's punch it, right? Let's do it. Let's try it. We have the best tires to do it. Yep, sure can, my man. Dude, look at this. That's impressive, bro. That's impressive. Not many trucks can do that. I'm going to be real. Not many can. Not many can. That was pretty easy. I don't want to say it didn't break a sweat, but it, leaving it in high gear, it does, man. It does. It's, it's, it really, how do I say this? It makes the American fleet proud, right? Okay, can I get under this? Oh gosh, please, please, please. Okay. Ooh. I was gonna glitch out. Can this too? Oh, nice. Okay. It wasn't that hard, but sure was helpful. Now we'll just wait for skiing season to start. Let's get out of here. Let's go get our other stuff. It's, uh, where's that? Second, no, railway station garage. There we go. So now I have, I have my wooden planks, I have my cargo container. Just need to get a one concrete slab and we're good to go. Now you're wondering why I never picked it up when I visited BC. Really? You were here and you didn't pick it up? Dude, this might, this might be one of the best American trucks in the game. It, it, it really might be. It's got power. It's got balance. It literally is an 8x8. Eight eight.
It has versatility. Yeah, its fuel consumption kind of is meh. But some of it can be mitigated. It's also got a pretty big tank. <sighs> of course I would do that. Of course I would. Of course. Okay, so basically here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run this. To the factory. I think that was where the Wonder engine was, actually. Oh, I probably could just jump right down there, huh? It's uh, tempting. I mean, that house has seen better days. Look at that. The roof is all busted up. There's a tractor out there, though. This is a beautiful drive, though, man. This is like... Get a photo. Well, that's pretty sweet. I like that. I'll take it. Ooh, let's back up so we don't just lose ourselves. <clears throat> Not as rough as the, the lone house in the swamp back by Smithville Dam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's bad, dude. Could you? Yeah, dude, those are bad. Those are pretty bad. I agree. I stand corrected. Those are definitely terrible. Dude, this thing, it's so great. It's like night and day. Literally, it's its like night and day from yesterday. The 114 SD struggled so bad. So bad here. This thing is just killing it. You haven't missed much, man. Let's see, I flipped the dairy, no, I flipped the dairy special, because dairy special is going to flip back over this truck. <laughs> I couldn't flip the dairy special with the loaf. I couldn't get it in the right angle, like wedging myself into objects and trees. I just couldn't get the right angle. The dairy special was just, yeah, just too top heavy at a certain angle. So yeah, we flipped this truck over, delivered stuff, I'm just, I was just being stupid. Yeah, just acting, acting stupid.
it's like you say, man. If you're not tri if you're not flipping, you're not uh you're not playing Snowrunner, right? Plus, we got the beacons on, you know. The beacons are on for that that horsepower. So yeah, we're we're, we're good to go. We're we're chugging it out now. Stickers too, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the stickers. Let me get some gas. Grab some of this gas right here. Each sticker is five HP, five horsepower. Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot all about that stuff. All I know is these cars that are sitting here. Where where are they going? Where do they think they're going? All right, back to the rail station. You learn what not to do. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I mean, our first playthrough, we basically just kind of crushed this area. So yeah, I decided to do some different stuff. Do some stupid stuff. Win stupid prizes, you know what I'm saying? What's it? What's that chart, man? If you, how much you, you mess around, you find out. You know what I'm saying? The more you mess around, the more you find out. It's kind of, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> we messed around and we found out. Drifting on. Yep. Yo, Nightwing, thank you for that follow. Welcome in, man. You always wonder how they get anywhere? Yeah, I, I don't know. All right, Lara Pup, appreciate that lurk, man. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> oh, where does the Mac defense? What do you guys think the Mac defense ranks in off-road trucks? Let me ask you that. What do you guys think about that? Ever since they buffed it. S tier, I, I I would say it's the easy S tier. I think I don't know. Here's the thing: is like I'm gonna be real. I think it's better than the Vorons. I think the only thing the Vorons have over it is tire size. I'm I'm pretty certain. Yeah. I mean, actually, the only other, the only Voron that I think maybe or has more power than it is the uh, the Voron Grad, right? 235. This has 232. But I, I honestly, man, I think this has better balance. I think this has better balance than the Voron Grad.
use the Mac and the 5600 TS most of all. Yeah, those are pretty strong. I might say, yeah, those are really strong. But then again, here's another good question is where do they rank? Where do they rank with uh, compared to the Tegas? There's a need and there's an even even better question. That's that's another another good one. I mean, it has more power. I'm pretty sure it has more power to weight. I think I'm pretty sure it has more power to weight. It definitely is the second heaviest truck in its class. Its balance is, oh man, I would say it's on par. I would say it's pretty much on par with both of those. I'd have to actually go check the actual numbers and the distributions again, but I'm pretty sure most of the weight in, on this thing is in its, in its frame. I mean, here's the thing, tire size is going to be, it's definitely outdone with tire size and tire options, right? That's kind of a given. But yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting. Got ourselves a warehouse. And we could do things with it. Yes, sir. 13K. Good now, Duncan Bay's residents can get everything they need. The rail the railroad connection will be established. See what we get. What we got here? What we got? What we got? Drilling oversized beams, rig. Well, we got beams here. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, no train. Yeah, I know, no train. I kind of wish there'd be like a train animation, right? That'd be sweet, but no, we don't have it. Cargo container to weather station. Oh, dude, I should have went and got that. I could have got that and brought it. I could have gotten that, dropped this stuff off, brought, brought that there. Oh, hindsight, man, 2020, you know what I'm saying? South power line. We can do this right now. I might as well just do this right now. Go get these spare parts across the river. Ferry would be sweet too, yeah. Oh man, look at me, I'm spending all this money going across this ferry. Whatever. Yo man, you gotta spend money to make money, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know, it's weird, yeah. 
You know, I figured out actually the other day who I don't know where I don't know who I was talking to the other day, but you know how we always talk about how the the 770G it needs it, like it needs to have another mission in another season to like do stuff, you know what I'm saying? Well, I I didn't think about this before, but they can't do that. They literally just can't because yeah, you know, it's a season two vehicle, right? So the thing is, if people don't buy season two, which, you know, there is a good amount of people that don't really like season two. So if they don't buy season two at all, they wouldn't be able to complete something that's brought out in season, what is it? Uh, let's say it was season 12. Let's say it, if it was, hypothetically. If the 770G was used in season 12, there's no way that people could... They wouldn't have it, because they don't have Season 2. So it's kind of crazy. But you know what? Actually, no, it's, it couldn't have been avoided. There's no way it could have been, could be avoided. Duncan Bay, when I forget you. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, hold on, let's see what we got here. Access to civilization, vehicle spare parts, consumables. Vehicle spare parts, consumables, short logs. One cargo container, medium logs there. Landslide, so con I should've got concrete slabs. I could've grab grabbed another one of those. That's kind of stupid on my part. I should have grabbed one of those. I'm going to have to start doing logs here too. Oil rig. Cargo container. Yeah. Short logs. Sweet. Well guys, that is the extent of my time today. That's almost four hours. Honestly, uh, I've been streaming a little bit longer these days. Usually my streams are like three hours or like two hours and 30 minutes and then done. I've been kind of going a lot farther these days, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's been okay. Let's see what we got done first. Okay, we're at 37%. Um, yeah, tomorrow, yeah, we'll be back here same time, same place. We'll probably, I don't know, we'll do something. Maybe we'll bust out a new truck bust out a new truck or we'll try to mix it up. We're going to try to do some logs tomorrow. Actually, that's the only thing we're going to concentrate on is logs. So we'll get some logging trucks out and yeah, we'll try to knock out some of these logs, the logging missions on this region or even just some of the logs period. Cause a lot of these tasks need logs. So we'll try to get those knocked out and then keep working on the tasks and such. So, but yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place, 8 AM to 9 AM starting Eastern standard time. Do please remember we are having the subathon on Saturday starting at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The time that the stream is going to start is going to be like two hours and 30 minutes on the timer. So any subs and stuff like that just adds on to that time. So yeah, come out. And if you guys do not want to donate, don't donate. We're still going to have fun. Please don't feel like you.